So we are working to confirm the identity of those um, who were critically wounded and are now being treated in a hospital in Pennsylvania. We're also trying to work to confirm the, the name of the individual who was killed, that David McCormick, who running for Senate there, was explaining to us about an hour ago. Uh, Fox News has confirmed the gun purchased by the, uh, the father, purchased legally in Pennsylvania. We're also hearing from someone who uh, went to high school with the suspect in Pennsylvania. Any shared classes in high school? No, I didn't have any classes with him. Um, I had my only interactions with him were just seeing him in school. I mean, he was bullied, sat alone at lunch. Is pretty much that. So House Republicans are already promising a full investigation, and they want to move quickly as well. I want to bring in Michael Waltz, a member of the House Armed Services Committee, and sir, thank you for your time today. Um, wow. There will be new information, uh, not just now, but in the coming hours. And I'm not quite sure where this story is at the end of the day. I'm not quite mm -hmm. sure where this story is tomorrow. Mm -hmm. What you're feeling now, sir? Well, Bill, you know I've seen uh, people take fire in, in, in combat and your base instincts stick in. Uh, and you're either going to cower and hide or you're going to stand up strong in the face of it. And President Trump's base instincts definitely were on display. His first thought was to make sure that the crowd and, more importantly, the country and the world knew that, that he was okay. So thank God for, for him uh, and his character. Look, I'm also on the Oversight Committee, Bill. We expect a hearing. We have Oversight of Secret Service. We expect a briefing tomorrow, a hearing in a week with the director. Uh, but I've been talking to agents uh, this morning, and they are upset. They're demoralized. They're angry. And I think the, the fundamental issue that's going to come out is President Trump is not a normal, uh, average former president. Uh, he, uh, between the residences, Bedminster, uh, Trump Tower, Mar-a-Lago, between the rallies and the size and the frequency and magnitude of these rallies, and then the threats that he's facing are different. It's not just domestic threats. It's also Iranian and foreign state actors who want to go after him and those around him because of the strike on Soleimani. All of that combined, he should have had a much bigger package in detail. Mm -hmm. And the agent's frustration is they've repeatedly asked and asked and asked and were repeatedly denied and instead just kind of had your standard package like a Jimmy Carter or, or, uh, or Bill Clinton. And uh, obviously it failed. Do they have any uh, documentation so that we could see that? Well, that's what we'll be requesting from the committee. I am told that those requests are put in writing and made verbally. Uh, when they do an advance, so this is how this plays out on the ground. When they do an advance of a site, uh, they have your base package, which should have been bigger in the first place, but then they also request agents from surrounding offices, in this case, say, Pittsburgh and Philadelphia. And headquarters makes a budget decision if they want to pay the overtime, they want to pay the travel. How does that play out? Well, in this case, there should have been an agent posted on that building uh, that have cleared that building where the sniper was. And when you don't have those resources, you're reliant on local and law enforcement. And Dana, I could tell you, we love our police, but I've been to many rallies. I've seen many times local law enforcement are enjoying Trump and watching Trump. And, and mm -hmm. you, you just don't have that level of, uh, of protection that you would with an expanded Secret Service detail. Uh, and we'll see. We have a lot to learn. But mm -hmm. what I'm hearing from the agents is that's uh, this was their concern. They saw this coming and it's the agents did a great job. I think this is going to be a headquarters and a resources issue at the end of the day. Just one more quick question. James Comer wants to have a public hearing a week from tomorrow with the head of right. the Secret Service. How much will right. we learn before then or will we prior to that hearing? Well, we're going to get a briefing uh, this coming week on oversight. Uh, and we're, we have a lot of questions of that briefing. I pray they will be forthcoming, but I could tell you they better be because th the agents who know their duty, number one duty is to protect the president, are quite upset. Uh, and I think we're going to have a lot of information coming out. Okay, Michael Waltz, thank you for your time. The Republican out of Florida with us now. Thank you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.